have the same concept here in Isaiah 26, where every sixth letter spells natal. It means to be jerked up, raptured. It's exactly what it means. Wow. Not once, but every seventh letter also spells the same word. I think God is trying to tell us something. That's amazing. You're saying that every sixth... I'll show you uh, what he said because I heard him say this, and I... Uh... You know, looked it up. Actually, I just found uh, just found this today. Uh, Brother Steve commented on my uh, uh, the video I did on Isaiah uh, 26, and I wanted to follow up. And now this is uh, Strong's 5338 Netzal to rescue and to deliver, and uh, 5337 is Netzal, and that is be delivered or snatch away and deliver. So, uh, so these are the two words that he is. Uh, saying is encoded there, and I learned this from him, and I just looked it up. I said, I want to see it, because they didn't demonstrate it in this video, but I uh, wanted to, to, to look it up here, and uh, I did. And So this passage here, beginning in verse 18 to 21, this is, is a rapture passage, and uh, talking about, uh, you know, uh, Israel saying, oh, as the pregnant woman approaches the time to give birth, she reads and cries out in labor pains. And that's like Revelation chapter 12. There was a woman uh, in pain to give birth. And that woman we know represents Israel, and the birth represents the rapture, in my understanding. And he said, this is how we were before you, Lord. We were pregnant. We read in labor. We gave birth. Yeah, we gave birth as it, as it seems only to win. And uh, we couldn't accomplish deliverance for the earth, not those left behind, those stuck on the earth. They didn't get any deliverance. And that word deliverance can, can refer to Jesus and salvation, Yeshua. Uh, they didn't get it, but, but uh, nor were the inhabitants of the earth born. And he said, your dead will live, their corpses will rise. And, and uh, so this is a resurrection, as he said. And uh, I like the, really the way uh, the King James put it, your dead shall live together with my dead body shall they arise. So uh, it's kind of like... Uh, a, 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 just as Jesus rose from the dead, so at the rapture, there's going to be a resurrection. He said, come my people, enter your rooms, close your doors behind you, hide for a little while until the indignation runs its course. For behold, the Lord is about to come out from his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their wrongdoing, and the earth will reveal her bloodshed and will no longer cover her slain. So he says, come my people, enter your rooms. And he says, that's, that's, that's a bridal chamber. And, um, so, uh, so this is about a resurrection and a rapture and uh, a time of wrath. Now I'll show you uh, this, this passage in Isaiah 26, verse 18. This word that he said was encoded, this is at six, at a skip of six. This is uh, the word here in red is nuts all. And that's the word that uh, Strong's 5337 and Strong's 5338. This is the word to deliver, to rescue, uh, to, to be snatched away suddenly to, to, to rescue. So this is in verse 18. And then uh, today I'd made, put it, put out the video, but uh, I said, well, I could only find it one time. And brother Steve uh, Farrell there uh, sent out a thing and he found this and uh, put a message on my, uh, he put a message on my uh, a reply on the text. And, uh, and he said, yeah, it's in verse 21, the second time. So here it is. And this is the final noon here. This is noon Sadi Lamed. And uh, this is uh, the Hebrew word, Natsal, encoded the second time in verse 21, when he's talking about the Lord coming to take vengeance. But there's going to be deliverance. Hallelujah. We're not in, we're, we are not uh, appointed to wrath if we're in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He took that wrath for us. Let us humbly, uh, let, us, let us humble ourselves. That Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the King of kings, the creator of heaven and earth, that we were created by him. God the Son bore the wrath of God for us that we could be delivered. And vengeance is coming to this earth. Vengeance is coming to this earth. The vengeance of God is coming. But we'll be delivered because Jesus is coming for us. And uh, so, so I just wanted to show you this. And see, this is a seven-letter skip. This is uh, the noon, and then the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is at seven-letter skips, not all. And this one here is at six-letter skips. And uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this we see not Saul to deliver, to rescue, to snatch away is in this passage two times. Yes. So if I, to be delivered, snatch away, delivered. So. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the king. When Jesus was on the cross, they put a sign over his head in Latin, Greek, and Hebrew. Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. And Father, we just want to pray today. We just want to pray today, Father, for the hostages. We want to pray today, Father, uh, for peace in Jerusalem, the peace of Jerusalem. And we pray, Father, for uh, those who uh, hate peace to see the meaning of the cross and the meaning of the words of Jesus that said, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Lord, we pray, Father, for uh, true peace. We pray for peace that comes through Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Messiah of those who will believe in him and the King of the Jews. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.